Hello everybody, Shoulders here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Feed the Beast tutorial on how to make, use, and power the Industrial Blast Furnace. So, we'll start off with how to make the Industrial Blast Furnace. Okay, first we'll start off with the Industrial Blast Furnace. The way that you craft this is by cup, copper nickel, copper nickel heating coil, and you could use two uh electronic circuits here and two induction furnaces and you could do high advanced machine block i'm just telling you what the easiest ways to go here and obviously and this is how you make the induction furnace and the copper nickel is made by a rolling machine and this is how you make it copper and yeah you copper in the middle and then you can choose from these two ignots ferrous or nickel and then there's three uh, ways that you could do this um, so over here we have the standard machine casing which is uh, each one of these machine casings give it a heat capacity which the heat capacity uh, can make more stuff with it so yeah and the standard machine casing is the lowest one and it's easy you need 34 of these but luckily it gives you four and two electronic uh, circuits refined iron and a sturdy casing or a machine frame the sturdy casing is the easiest one I would go with because it's just eight uh, bronze and next you have the reinforced machine casing this is a little bit harder you'll need steel a highly advanced, advanced, I mean, advanced machine block, and two advanced circuits. Now I'll keep this one for a while because this one takes forever to make. Um, this is the advanced machine casing, which takes chrome, a highly advanced machine block, and data controlled. Now these are already hard enough to get. You will need chrome dust, and you need an industrial blast furnace. And you need this one to make the chrome. So, and then you put that in the gesture blast furnace. You only get one. And then you need this highly advanced. So you need four titanium and advanced machine block. And you also need a data control thing, which takes uh, iridium and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. Um, so now I'll show you how to power this. Uh, now you better stay for this part of the tutorial because you probably are already thinking, oh, I know how to power it. You just set up an MFE to it, and yeah, that's it. But there's uh, rules with this, uh, safety cautions. So it doesn't matter which machine. It doesn't matter what machine casing, because as you can see here, it says 150k, 220, 200, and this one, that. And before I get started with how to power. If you put two lava sources in there, because it's uh, two spaces, if you put lava source in there, it will give it an extra 500 boost. But yeah, let me show you how to uh, make one of these. So you're just gonna make a three, a three by three pad, and then you're gonna go up, up to three. You're gonna go up three and place them like this. And you want to leave these two open so you can put your lava if you want in there. And then you just place your industrial blast furnace. And then when this thing goes green, you can press on it. And then over here is the actual uh, how to make like the how to make the um, machine basically. And if you made it wrong, it will it will say machine gone wrong or something. Machine casing gone wrong. And this is how you make it to three. And then the red stands for the lava source in the top. And I'll just show you. It'll say incomplete main machine casing. And then when you put it back, it'll do that. So let's get with the power source. Now you could just set up an MFE to power it. And that's how you would go with it. And it goes for all these. You can power it anywhere. But if you're using an MFSU, if I show you, uh, if you connect it, just you just plainly connect it, it'll blow up 
and kaboom. But if you get, um, hmm, wait, hold on. Let me show you in a quick second. If you get an MV transformer, say this thing's all powered up, you want to face this thing. I'm just using this as a block here, the industrial blast furnace. You want to make the three dots face that way. So, no three dots. It's facing the MFE because that's the input for it. And then there, and it does not blow up if you have power in this. So, yeah. This thing will take, uh, I forgot, it, um, it will take, I'm trying to remember. Uh, it will take a good amount of your uh, power source. And the reason why I have to ha add a MV transformer right there is because it will it will only take 128 EU per tick out of it but this thing holds 512 EU so this thing will just blow because this thing can only hold 128 EU per tick so that and I think that's it for this tutorial guys uh, if you enjoyed the episode not really an episode a tutorial Please leave a like, rating, and even a, sub a subscribe. Man, my English was really bad in this episode. But yeah, I'll be coming out with more of these episodes. Uh, see you guys. See you later. I stepped in something. Bye.